position and wait for my go. Okay, so uh, for Adobe Dreamweaver CC, uh, so it is similar with a, a, a CS6, it's just that the location of the interface and how we input interface is a bit different whenever we want to input our design. Okay, so um, since uh, you look back into your template, so you have one division tag and then one division tag. So we're going to create uh, these two division tags in our uh, website uh, from previous a uh, week three tutorial. So you need to complete your week three tutorial first in order for you to do this a uh, uh, tutorial. All right. So uh, move on to our Adobe Dreamweaver. So we need to create these two div tags. Okay, one div tag, two div tags. Okay, so since everything is in still in header, so I want you guys to make sure it is outside, still inside the header. Inside div type called header underscore content. Okay, so from here you can copy and paste the content that you have created in Photoshop and paste it inside your content div which is over there okay the right ingredients the right ingredients for the right food for the right food okay so another division we're going to create called a header underscore button the btn stands for button and then uh, since uh, you see this is a button a button should always be a hyperlink okay so we can input our hyperlink over there click on hyperlink text called read more and then the link should be so i this is just a dummy link so I'm assuming the recipe one file called recipe.html. Okay, so he is a hyperlink. Alright, so save your file and then preview. And there you go, you have two content uh, that we can work on. Alright. Okay, so first of all, we're going to apply a CSS style towards header underscore content. So select the header underscore content, click on CSS designer, and then click on the button plus. Okay, so I just want the header content. Okay, so first of all, we're going to establish the size so you can make a measurement from the template so each and every column is a 60 pixels each and every gutter is a 20 pixel so from there uh, we can know that it is a 780 pixels and then a, the height approximately we can sit over there 200 pixel okay so uh, the, pos the first position that we're going to learn is using a, sorry, going to use a position uh, placement. So the position would be If you have not found your position, we're able to. Okay, you can type over there position. Okay, absolute. Okay, so from that position absolute, you can put your. A okay this one position absolute sorry 
and then you can put over there a auto with 200 pixels and then the left should be around a 38% okay so we're just going to maintain at 30% over there okay so for this one header underscore video underscore content okay so if you save your file we're able to preview all right so so now is in the middle of the content so we need to adjust the the type and the size and also the color all right okay so from here we can start to uh, make adjustments toward our uh, type so it match our a uh, template over here so you can make adjustment to the types okay for examples uh, maybe we want to use a color white enter font family okay Arial font size maybe we can put over there a 50 pixels okay text align center and then font weights bold okay so by right you can be able to make adjustment save our save all preview file okay so some positioning we need to adjust okay so positions 20% see how it goes save all 20% good okay 20% looks uh, center enough okay so yeah so that's how you want to make adjustment using percentage for the left and for the top is a 200 pixels okay so once we already get the content right so then we make a design for the button that says read more over there okay so click on the header button click on plus just want the header buttons okay so first of all set the sizes uh, pixels uh, width is 280 so all this measurement I taken from here okay 60 60 60 and 20 20 20 okay 280 and height is approximately 50 pixels Okay, and then it have a, a background color background or you can click over here for background sorry this is border layout scroll down until you say uh, background hmm. border the shadow where is it background background okay sorry over there backgrounds and then choose black and then change this one uh, point zero to zero zero point five for opacity the enter so you will have a a position uh, text align center and then we can add some padding to make sure this a uh, text is uh, right in the middle of that so not margin but padding can put from the top is 20 pixels okay you see and then uh, you can start to play with sizes of the text okay so size of the text okay, pixels what about a 20 pixel is it good okay, maybe more 30 pixels less 25 18 yeah okay i think you know 25 25 pixel all right okay so once you already have this one and then we can move on into making much more uh, specific adjustment okay once we already have your button uh, uh, design then we can place the button accordingly using position as well position absolute uh, from the left 
can use percentage to 40% and from the top by pixels 380 pixel okay save the file save all preview okay so now it is right in the middle of it okay so everything looks a uh, appropriate for now then what you can do is that you can have another uh, properties where we can state the button dot hover okay so in the button dot hover we can change the color of the background background color where is it where is it come on background okay so a bit of grayish so you can save and then preview your file so whenever you have an hover you will see that this background is changing okay so that's uh, how you want to add some interactivity towards the uh, in your CSS file okay okay so now your buttons have interactivity so a little bit of adjustments uh, toward the uh, text of the button so click on A click over there hit the button A so the button you can change the the text uh, to white color and then text decoration put on none for the outlines we don't want the outline and on family aerial looks better and maybe font size we change accordingly uh, pixels we put over there a 18 pixels okay looks mm, not so maybe we can increase the 25 pixel I uh, will look much better 25 pixel okay save all preview your file Okay, there you go it looks way much better uh, with the content so almost we already uh, complete the header okay so a bit of tweak here and there regarding the content to make it uh, much more suitable towards CSS okay so I want you guys to try uh, this uh, heading and then make the content then make the button and apply a bit of interactivity make your website look interesting okay so I want you guys to complete this a uh, tutorial week four, and then zip your file. Is this one okay? Zip your file accordingly, and then submit the zip file to Open Learning. Okay, so I want you guys to try it, and then I wish you all good luck uh, towards your uh, final presentation uh, next week. Okay, so uh, all best.